Today's video devotional is titled, So Much for Good Advice. The words of Job chapter 2 verse 9 says, His wife said to him, Do you still retain your integrity? Curse God and die. One of the most interesting characters in the entire Bible is Job. In an instant, his whole life is stripped away. Virtually no aspect of Job's life was spared. His family was systematically wiped out and his own physical health deteriorated with boils covering his entire body. The backstory to all this was that Job was an upright man and the devil believed he, Job, only trusted God because his life was good. Take away all the blessings, Satan argued, and, the, and Job the man would reject and deny God. The bulk of the book of Job is the ensuing conversations he has with his wife and friends in trying to figure out why such things have happened. Job knows his character is righteous, but most of the advice he gets is simply to admit he has some unconfessed sin, some error, and come clean before God. From Job, we are reminded of a couple things. One, we know that bad things do indeed happen to good people. No one can claim to follow God and find a life of ease. Sin still reigns in this world and its effects still bring harm to the righteous. Second, there is a need to find good counsel when we are in the midst of a storm. In turn, we are to extend good counsel when others are suffering. Job's friends and his wife proved of little worth when Job was most in need. We can take heed to the need to stand in the gap when others are facing difficulty and offer words that bring hope, not despair. Question to ask ourselves today, is there someone in my life right now who needs an encouraging word or just a listening ear? Lord, we know from Job's example that rain falls on the good and the bad. Help us to be people who extend your grace today to someone in need. Have a blessed day.